Hi guys, I'm Jeffrey Robert, and I'm here with my friends, Jalen, and this is DL. Uh, I've been doing DL's hair for four years at, the, at this point, maybe? Yeah. But it's been two years since we did her hair last. Do you remember what we did? Uh, we did a pixie cut, and it was all gray, and this is what's left of it. We're gonna transform it into, well, what do you want to see? Platinum. Oh my god. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll aim for platinum. It's gonna be yeah. It seems like her natural hair is a, a level two or three, which is really dark brown. And to get any sort of like icy tone or any sort of silver or light blonde tone, you have to be a level nine. So we're gonna get her from a level three, hopefully to a level eight or nine today. And we'll color her hair according to how it lifts. So thanks for watching and stay tuned. Okay, so we sectioned DL's hair into four sections. This is gonna be the first step before we apply all the liner to her hair. All right, so Goldwell sent me a bunch of product. I've heard good things about them, so I definitely wanna try it out today. Thanks, guys. I get sent different products and use different products behind the chair daily, and some of you guys asked me to review what I use. So what we're doing is we're taking the finest sections possible and we're not applying the hair into any foils just yet because we really want to lift all of the hair and get all the product on as quickly as possible and then after that we'll actually go ahead and add the foils. So I'm staying about half an inch away from her scalp just to avoid any uh, hot roots and so that the hair on the scalp doesn't over lift. Slowly. slowly yeah. Being really slow. It hasn't been darkened. Huh? It's crazy how dark your natural hair is. I haven't had like I haven't had my natural hair in forever. In forever. Forever. Because even when I first went to you, my hair was dyed and I had my perm. Like it wasn't even like virgin you did hair. Have a perm. Yeah. It wasn't even my virgin hair when I first came in. And it still somehow got light. Yeah. So now that we have all the lightener in her hair, we're not just gonna let it sit. We're gonna actually go ahead and apply foils to the hair to help separate the lightener and incubate the lightener so that it continues to lift. Okay, so now we have all of the foils in. We're gonna let that incubate for about 30 or 40 minutes. After that, we're gonna go ahead and apply the lightener to her roots. So we did not apply the lightener to her roots right now because, well, this, the hairs closer to the root tend to lift really fast. So the reason that they lift fast is because of the body heat from the scalp. It tends to help the lightener uh, activate a lot quicker. So if you apply it on the roots too early, you could end up with a really, really blonde root and then the rest of the hair won't be quite as blonde as you need it to be. So we're letting the ends process first and we'll go ahead and hit the roots after. Okay, waiting for my friends. So all we're doing is we're going across the street to get some smoothies. Thank you. Oh no, you're good. Thanks. Oh, oh they want to see the beautiful women. So we're here across the street getting smoothies. What do they have in here? It says it has kale, spinach, celery, cucumber, lemon, apple, ginger. Do you guys want cayenne turmeric? Uh, we have lemon to mix it with. It tastes way better. Yeah, sure. So what's in here again? It's ginger, lemon, cayenne, and turmeric. So. This is for um, good, health. good health. Good health. 2019. 2019. Cheers, <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. This is after 40 minutes. It seems to be lifting really well. Yeah, it looks like a low level nine. Now that we've gotten the ends of the hair to a level eight or nine, it's time for us to apply the lightener to the roots. So 
So really like just to keep like it toned like color, I just need purple shampoo. Most or is there anything else that you recommend like for care? Um, definitely a hair mask. Yeah. As far as tonality goes, um, I would use the purple shampoo if you feel like your hair is brassy. However, mm -hmm. there have been instances where people will use purple shampoo and it will deepen the hair. And what I mean by that is your hair is so porous, like a sponge after you bleach it. Yeah. So when you're throwing all that pigment on there on top of it, it starts to kind of like cake pile up. Like and it, it doesn't really money. quite, yeah, it starts to look oh. muddy. And then you end up gray, but like dingy gray. Mm -hmm. I feel maybe like, like purple shampoo a few times a week. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe like once maybe or twice. Once, yeah, I mean, I've even told people to just purple shampoo twice a month. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Just depending yeah. on how your hair feels. I tell people wait to purple shampoo until mm -hmm. you see a little bit of warmth coming through. Exactly. Okay. Wait, should we like do the hair. Sailor Moon one or the one where she dances after she plays the flute? Let's watch all of them. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna play one. This was DL in the back. Yeah, that was me. And now she's gonna be in a blonde <laughs> That's her Instagram. And in the name of the moon, I will vanquish you. This one's the best one. That one is the best one. This one is like, this makes me hype. How's this not got a million views yet? This is so good. <laughs> So the roots have been processing for about 30 minutes and it's looking really well. So we're going in on our second round of lightener. As you can see, it seems a little more gold, golden blonde than uh, pale blonde. So we're just gonna get through that level very quickly. I'm starting in the front of the hair this time because well, that's where we ended off with her lightener last time, and I feel like it didn't lift as much in the front because of that. So now we're going to start in the front. Alright, well, it seems like I got a new package here from Goldwell. You know, it looks like... It looks like it's some sort of color enhancing boosters, pure pigments. So it looks like some sort of additive to the color that I can use to intensify it. I'm down to play with it. I mean, thanks guys for sending it. I'll definitely try it out, maybe on DL. Ooh, these glasses. Hold up. So Goldwell sent me all these colors to try out. I might as well try it on DL's hair. It's called Colorants. It's their demi-permanent line, and I'm liking these tubes because they open really easy. I'm going to be using 6SB with 8SB and 10 volume developer. I'm going to be actually using these pure pigment violet drops as an additive to intensify the base color and the end color. I'm thinking that this violet additive should not only neutralize any yellow in the hair, but it should actually be strong enough to over ash the hair into more of a silver tone. After I mix this color, I definitely have to add my B3 from Brazilian Bond Builder. So the first thing I do when I apply this color melt is I'm going to outline four quadrants of her hair with the base color I created. I'm applying on damp hair because, well, the manufacturer directions actually state to apply this color on damp hair. So I'm going to go ahead and just follow what that says. I'm applying two to three inches down on the base, and I'm okay if I drag down the base a little lower. So when I apply the end formula, I like to actually start on the ends and work my way up the hair strand. That way I ensure that I'm not dragging the base all the way through the ends and I'm controlling that melt right in the mid strand or right wherever I want it to be. Seven hours later. We finished color melting finally. It's been about seven hours and we're almost done. So we're super excited. We're gonna give this about 20 minutes.
guys, so this is the finished product. We love it so much. What do you think, Theo? Love it. Yes. It's like the perfect smoky silver tone. I love it. So overall, I'm pretty down for the color that we used. I really like the shine and I like the consistency of the product. And Jalen, what do you think? I really loved it. I felt like we really achieved the ash tones we set out to achieve today and I feel like it gave us really good even coverage as well as it smelled really, really good. So I liked a lot about it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming and helping. I really appreciate it. Yes, I couldn't have like done it. It took seven hours. It took yes, like 12 oh hours if you were here. If it was just one of us, exactly. Um, yeah. If you guys like what you saw or if you learned anything, definitely please subscribe to the channel and press the like button down below. Yeah, see you guys soon.